Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, I let you guys know that Google Bard will soon be renamed to Gemini, with a lot of other big updates that will also be rolling out with this name change. And just to let you know that just a couple of hours ago, um, Google Bard has now officially been renamed to Gemini. And uh, um, I've heard and seen a couple of comments on the channel where some users think that the, that the name change um, kind of is a bit of a downgrade and not so googly as Bard would be, but uh, nonetheless, that's up for debate. But here we go. So Bard no more, Gemini is the new Bard, so to speak. Now, I'll leave that other video down below for what it's worth, but just to go through um, this update. And if you want to see the release notes, as always, you head to your help, you click on updates, and here we go. It just takes you over to the release updates. Now, first of all, there's been a little bit of a design change. So over and above Bard being changed to Gemini, um, Google says they've also changed the user interface to reduce visual distractions, improve legibility, and simplify the navigation. And I actually like this um, kind of layout change. Now, all these um, kind of menu items, help, activity, settings, were all located here to the top right previously. And those have all been now moved into the left-hand menu. And this is a very common practice now for the different um, companies to push everything to the left-hand side. But I like this. I think it just falls more in line with the other Google apps and services. So there's a whole UI change as we can see. And then you can also upgrade to Gemini Advanced. So you can try Gemini Advanced to access what Google says their most capable AR model Ultra One. Now, as you can see, this is a paid subscription and this is not available for free, but um, Google says with Gemini Advanced, um, it's for more capable or highly complex tasks like coding, logical reasoning, following nuanced instructions and creative collaboration. Plus Gemini Advanced will continue, they say, to expand with new and exclusive features in the coming months. Now, as you can see, um, the Advanced is a paid plan available in over 150 countries and territories and it's also available and optimized only for English at the stage with the Ultra One model. So obviously if you want to pay a little bit more and get some more advanced features then go for it but I think I'm going to stick with the free version that's good enough for me. And then there's also a Gemini app that you can now use on your phone which Google says um, is integrated with Google apps like Gmail, Maps and YouTube which they say makes it easier to get things done on your phone and you can interact with uh, Gemini through text, voice or images. And if you are in Canada, you can also now co collaborate, Google says, with Gemini on the web in Canada in all supported languages, including English and French. And the Gemini app is coming soon, starting with English to Canada. So there you go. Bard is now Gemini and just wanted to keep you posted, like I said I would in that previous video, where I can just show you this all in real time. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.